I started running after uh, high school, really, because I was in football, basketball, and track. Um, they didn't really have long distances, and so I was focused mostly on jumping. And um, they don't have competitions once you graduate from college for that, unless you're in the Olympics, and I was not Olympic caliber. So I wanted to find a new challenge, and so got into endurance running. And uh, been doing that probably since 2005, so about 17, 18 years now. Uh, or what really connected running for me was um, the mental health gains, the stress relief that I would sweat the stress away. And it allowed me to just relax and uh, all the stresses of life kind of fall away and then I could really focus. And so trail running um, has been kind of my favorite. That's uh, mostly peaceful. I don't worry about times, don't really because uh, each trail is so different. Uh, the, the trails is really took away any stress that I had focusing on the clock or competing because I was just focusing on the, the trail and making sure I didn't trip and fall. The more technical of a trail, the actually uh, the, the more deep in thought and more like meditative it would be for me. Um, I couldn't focus on much else besides being in the moment and being really present with where I was at. Um, I've ran 95 marathons or longer. Uh, I'm getting close to uh, hitting 100, so the goal is to hit 100 this year. Um, and trying to focus more on longer distances than marathon too, so working on my training again to uh, do a few more 100 mile races. One of uh, my favorite goals that I've accomplished is that running all 50 states with my brother Jesse prior to taking over for mainly marathon. So we went back and did um, one in Mississippi and knocked out our 50th state together. And so that's something that I'm really proud of, that being able to travel the country with my brother with doing all 50 uh, marathons in all 50 states and then now uh, race directing all 50 states with Jesse. Congratulations there, Hank! Congrats, Hank! Whereas what we found with the trail running community, um, most people are just there to get complete the race and that they're, worried, they're not worried about the time um, they're more so focused on getting to the finish line. I think that's translated really well into what mainly marathons is, is focusing on the, the finish line and not necessarily the times with it. To make mainly marathons our own, we made a, a few changes with the, the logos, branding. Um, we added some states that weren't uh, part of the all 50 states that uh, Clint had. I think 38 states covered. He had plans for the, uh, the last uh, 12 states or so. Um, and so then we finalized those plans. I think we created quite a few gimmicks. Um, it's kind of one way of saying we had these little uh, carrots hanging out in front of people that uh, definitely got them motivated. One of which was the Looney Legend. Um, I think that one has been one of our most successful uh, pieces that have really motivated people because the, the runners of Mainly Marathons, our community, is some of the most driven, um, dedicated, and some of the, the, the toughest people I've ever met in my entire life. Now, whatever goal we set in front of them, they nailed it. And so we had to make something kind of lofty and saying they complete all of our full series in addition to completing at least 100 of the long races. And in those first couple of years, people are knocking them out left and right. We couldn't believe it. We didn't think uh, uh, we'd have as many people. We actually had to get a whole new trailer. <laughs> Just because we couldn't fit any more people on the on the trailer. I mean, when I stop at gas stations, I have uh, people asking me like, "How do you get on that the trailer?" And so uh, I'd say probably at least a quarter of my gas trips, I have someone asking me about the people that are on the trailer. So how and when did you decide to take over mainly marathon from Clint? Yep. So the decision of taking over mainly marathons actually um, was kind of. Uh, Nothing that we ever really planned or thought of. Um, so we got into finding mainly marathons because we were working on our goal of doing all 50 states. And then our mom and then Jess's wife Katie would then volunteer at the aid station and then hang out with Hana, um, get to know them behind the scenes and just really get to connect to one another. Um, and then it wasn't until probably about, let's see, because we first ran with mainly marathons and I think 2013 was our first race with mainly marathons and then uh, Clint and Hannah didn't reach out to us until 2016, I think the fall of 2016, to see if we were interested in taking over because uh, from my understanding that mainly marathons kept growing and it was getting too big because uh, Clint had already uh, retired once and then this was becoming more of a job and uh, a lot more time was being committed to mainly marathons so he uh, actually 
had, from my understanding, was that Hannah mentioned it uh, to Clint, and then um, Clint then reached out to us see if we want to take over, and so both uh, Jesse and I gave up our uh, careers, uh, mine as a mental health therapist and addictions counselor, and um, Jess as uh, the program director for in the prison, and so made those changes and became traveling carnival workers.